we got really lucky and then really unlucky and then really unlucky and then really lucky again uh in the past in the last episode um because first we fabricated a claim well not in the last episode but uh in the past two episodes uh we fabricated a claim on rome conquered it fabri then fabricated a claim on the duchy of latium that is held by the pope um and then died and then our liege passed a law that we absolutely hate because it forbids us from declaring any wars whatsoever so i can't even go after this duchy of La of latium that I have refabricated a claim for. So, maybe when I'm old enough, I join a faction, hope that that go faction goes to war, and then maybe, no, I don't think that works. I think because I'm part of a rebellion, I can't declare a war against, I can't declare a war if I'm part of a rebellion. I don't know. But uh, right now we're waiting to get out of uh, we are waiting to get out of our adolescence and become an actual adult. What's our brother looking like? He's a fussy genius and affectionate. He's about to turn 12 on Jan in January. Why is our prestige so low? Lombardi just grew a little bit. What's that? Peasant revolt for like yeah, okay. We need a new steward. Sure. Do what you do what you need to do. Money has been disappearing from the treasury. I suspect my regent Augusta. So my mother's stealing money from me. Good job, Mom. Uh, thinking about things, I have concluded that everything in the world is not as the priests say it is. So I'm wroth and cynical. I really wish I could change my uh, education trait to something like Intrigue right now. Or Military. Military wouldn't be too bad with this character. I have caused harm with somebody in my, my liege's court. Orthodox Faith is triumphant. Yeah, we're still trying to convert, convert stuff. My mom is stealing money. Doesn't matter. Whenever, when she dies, I should get that money. What does she get paid for being my regent? And we became a charismatic negotiator. That's not too bad. We gained diligent, but may also gain stressed. Nope, we're just diligent. That's, I'd say that's good. Um, I can become exalted among men if I wanted to. Acquire a title. Become a counselor. Groom and heir. I mean, I don't think this actually gives the counselor thing it actually gives us a likelihood that we will be caught or like it used to uh, give us the ability to gain one point in uh, the associated stat back before it was back when it was a job specific, not uh, generally approved, uh, appointed as a counselor. I'm going to take the hunting focus get my health up even higher and uh, hopefully because we're already diligent we can hunt the great white stag get a dog and uh, maybe become brawny live a long time 
which means this claim will last a long time. Sure, I want a Groom and Air, I think. We can shut the gates because there's consumption in our, like right next door again. Well, it's the first time we face consumption, but it seems like we've got disease all over the place in Italy. I can join a faction. Could I kill my brother? Let's try it. I might become a Ken Slayer, but I think I'm okay with that if I get two more uh, titles out of it. Can't actually invite anyone to the plot. So. I'm going to try to sow discontent in Neapolis. We've got raiders in our land. I wish. Everyone's still doing what they need to. The moral authority of orthodoxy is 74.1. And this guy's actually the Pentarch. The Patriarch. Same thing. Uh, I wish I could do something to speed this up. Like, not time-wise, but rather the idea of us being able to declare war on something, anything. Um, I need to uh, change some of my laws, I think. Inheritance. I can change it to seniority. Succession by elective. I don't know. Seniority succession might be a good thing. Yes, I like the idea of that. So my heir is now my uncle. Um, I can also change the obligations of my vassal. I think I'm going to go heavier burger, burger tax because that'll help us get money faster. Yes, it is everyone con everyone's concern or gain prestige, money or prestige. I'm going to go with prestige. Nobody wants to kill my brother. He's liked too well.
Um. Why does he want to kill me? He's my rival. Okay. Why? Because I made fun of him once? And he punched me? That was years ago, dude. Get over it. Just increased our peasant revolt risk. If we wait a lot longer, we can get... Oh, uh, your wife, Countess Ermengard, has sent you a gift. It is a small puppy, but of the finest pedigree. I will accept it. Uh, and I will... Okay. Your new puppy has no name yet, my lord. What will you call it? Faithful Hunter, Tricky, or Lucifer? Uh, let's go with Faithful. I'm going to send her a gift, some money, and I'm going to demand her immediate religious conversion. She agrees. He needs to convert too. Can we get anyone who's not a, uh, who doesn't hate me and is a heretic? Still no smallpox in Rome. Your dog has grown quickly and is no longer a little puppy. I wish I could declare war. I can declare war against my liege to claim Neapolis. Um... I wish I could, like, buy a favor from my liege. Or somehow gain a favor from him. And make him press my claim or something. I wish that was a thing. He has a lot of, uh, theme titles. Duchy titles. Do people hate him because of that? Yeah, they do. Too many held duchies. Minus 30. Um... We'll get the old team back together. Sadly, the afternoon you spend at the... Sicanisterian ends in disaster. The game of Sicanion quickly devotes, uh, devolves into a violent melee after you break your stick against the head of your challenger in a sudden fit of rage. You howl obscenities and curses at your opponents, and it takes the efforts of your entire team to end the fight and put you, pull you away from the stadium. Um, it's because I'm wroth, isn't it? Uh, we have two claims and we can't press either of them. Our brother doesn't even have the same religious head as us because we're under the Patriarch of Rome. And he's under the Ecumenical, I think. We could possibly join the increased council power faction. Everybody lies, and the courtiers in Rome are no exception. One of them dared to speak up and tell me I'm too cynical and not everybody lies. Then I knew they all lied. After Patriarch Eustinius told me 
Not everybody lies. I almost started laughing. I told him that if he could prove that, I would start believing in mankind again. It could happen, right? 20% chance of losing Cynical. I lost Cynical. Okay, so I'm now down to Roth and Diligent. Um, can I join? Okay, so he's a he's a part of the Hermetics uh, Society. Or is he? I don't know. He looks like a... He looks like a Lucifer, or uh, one of Lucifer's own. I can join the community of St. Basil. It's something to do. God's blessing upon thee, Count Constantinus. We are delighted by your decision to join our ranks as a lay member. Count, together we shall try, uh, strive to for the betterment of ourselves and our fellow Christians by following the rule of St. Basil. Go with God. So we're minus 15% fertility. Followers of St. Basil lead an ascetic life, finding purpose in prayer as well as work, often in the name of aiding their fellow men and women. Uh, a lay member of the order is not requested to take on the life of a hermit. Instead, the focus should be placed on helping the members of your community. All right, so don't become a hermit. I honestly don't care if this guy gets married. going on in the Umayyads? Some kind of revolt? War against the tyranny of? Eighty-six percent to increase council power. I'll join that. What is the, what is our lieges, uh, 14,000? He has 14,000 troops. It's, uh, pretty significant. Start of the Viking Age. The centralization of power in Scandinavia, along with a rapid population expansion, has begun to drive its denizens to look beyond the home shores in earnest. New developments in shipbuilding, an adventurous spirit, and a fearless belief in the gods are now taking North seafarers across the seas towards distant lands. They arrive as traders, raiders, and conquerors, and they call themselves Vikings. From the fury of the Northmen deliver us. Did he die? Yes, of natural death. Let's invite a holy man and a noble. And both of them suck. Let's just find somebody good. Or moderately good. Or kind of crap. Nobody can even be bribed right now by me. This guy can. He's kind of old, but... Eighteen-year-old. Strong claim. He's not an heir to, like, a bishopric or anything. Sure. I have received a letter from my fellow member of the community of St. Basil, Count Sicinius, uh, uh, dear brother Constantinus, will you, as the Christian scholar you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry, or the attempt of it? Am I missing some of the uh, more comforting aspects of, or I am missing some of the more comforting aspects of faith? Uh, while I enjoy the metaphors, they seem a little forced. Writing is frivolous. Uh... Sure, we'll go with the first one. Blessing, blessing the true faith and salvation to others is among the holiest du duties. Therefore, we ask of you to construct a new church in your land, so... Nope. 
That's exactly what I want to avoid. Let's make him our new Magistros. Send him to our liege. What's the Western Protectorate look like? I was beginning to think that Count Sicinius took offense to my comments, but today I've received a new draft of his, of his work. I am surprised to find that his words really speak to me. Scribbled in the margin, I can just make out. I implore you, brother, bear with me. It is not finished. Uh, I think the community of St. Basil will treasure these words. Ni Fang Dang, the uh, Tabuyan, the li uh, liberator of Jia. So they cut off lands in the Western Protectorate, which I think is, I never, I wouldn't have expected that to happen. Apparently China has a golden age right now. Do I have news from China on? Open map mode, view history. They have one tributary. The emperor dislikes Byzantine cultures and likes concubines. So there's the invade the Zhao Empire uh, option. With any luck, if hopefully things start going better than they are right now, because right now it's a very slow time, but I promise once we become the Emperor, things will go much more quickly. I'm flattered Do you think that uh, the community of St. Basil would uh, benefit from my work. Uh, Count Cicinios of Prusa writes in his letter, Thank you for your support, brother, he continues, before assuring me of the finishing touches he intends to see to before the final version of the manuscript will enter the library. But uh, that is kind of the end game over there is uh, put a member of my dynasty on the throne of the Chinese and Byzantine. Well, I will be on the throne of the Roman Empire and uh, maybe a brother or a cousin or something will be on the throne of the Chinese Empire. Saxony's kind of big. My mother died of poor health. Middle Francia has... Huh, King Pepin the Hunch Hunchback has become the king of Middle Francia somehow. There's only... Uh, one... Or only a very small bit of land in the kingdom of France left. Strategos, Theodos the second and I have been rivals for a very long time, but now when he is a Strategos and I am a lowly count, Strate, lowly count, Strategos, the, uh, Theodos the second feels it is beneath him to have a rival so much beneath him. Finally, no more rival. I mean, he's probably not going to try to kill me anymore. We finally have somebody who wants to kill my brother. Try to get more people on board that with that. And I have a cough. Theophanes of Rome suggests that is that his extensive medical experience leads him to the certain conclusion that your symptom is not due to a serious illness. Okay. You realize you have been free from your cough for a few days now. Lose cough. Byzantine Holy War for Carvuna. So, yeah, that's something I would have done. I'm glad that they they're they taking advantage of uh, Bulgaria's moment of weakness right now. Because that's a lot of what this world conquest is going to be, I think.
approve the institution of slightly levy focused noble obligations law. Okay. So, in other words, we have even fewer people we can... Weren't we part of a... Weren't we part of the increased council power faction? Alright. A young artist is working on what is clearly a divinely inspired icon depicting Christ Pantocrator. He needs sponsorship to finish so we can place it in our own chapel. Almighty Jesus guides my soul. Gain diplomacy? Or some gold? Why not? I can actually join my lieges war. I need 974 gold to buy a few favor from a liege. Uh, fate smiles upon me. My wife is pregnant. Hopefully it'll be a strong boy. We've improved the ecumenical patriarch's opinion of us while attending prayer. Wait. Okay. I didn't think we were improving. Oh, wait. We are. We are improving with our uh, magistrates. While attending prayer one even, uh, early morning, I noticed my brother uh, Epaeus drowsing off in his seat. Meanwhile, our fellow members of the uh, community of St. Basil are deep in their contemplation and do not seem to have noticed yet. I should wake him before anyone catches on. I gently prodded Epeus, and I get, but I get no reaction. Then I shove my elbow into his side, causing him to cough and open his eyes, a flash of anger in them. His face turns red as he blinks, the situation dawning upon him suddenly. Thank you, he mumbles sheepishly. Think nothing of it, friend. Um, how much devotion are we gaining every month? Three from learning, one from diligent. All right. Okay. For a second, it made it look like he was a kid again, and I thought my leash had changed yet again. Oh. Biding our time. How much do I need to build a castle? 770. And I can get a third castle. Really? This is my brother's wife. So in two years, she will be unable to have kids. She's had a few already, but she's... Okay. Uh, he became a, an elusive shadow, so it's not easy to kill him exactly. Invite that guy? I thought I was auto inviting. You can hold a summer fair. Oh, that would that would be great right now if we could declare a war a war like that. Wait. What? Okay. Um. I can declare a war, apparently. <laughs> I feel like this is an oversight. I feel like that's... I feel like that is a... I don't know if it's a bug or if, like, they just... Might have ignored it. But, uh... I don't know. I'd like to go and attack Orvieto. How many troops does this guy have? 4,000? Um, I probably can't get it between 
my own troops and mercenaries. I feel like if I did hire mercenaries, it would be a waste of money. I'll have to think about it. Because, uh, that's kind of funny. I can declare border disputes. Yeah, I'm guessing the new... I'm guessing that's a no, uh, an oversight with the new Cassus Belly. Um... Wait, or... Did the laws change? Oh my god, they changed. He has a lot of land. Army levies, one, uh, 1. 1.8k. Um, so this is a new development. I didn't realize that the, uh, the vassal war declaration had been changed back to external. Um, so no, it doesn't look like it's an oversight. It looks like it's more of an oversight, uh, an oversight by paradoxes and on paradoxes side. Anyway, it looks like it's more of a oversight on my part. I missed something and completely, but uh, we will deal with that. We will absolutely be dealing with that in the next episode. Thank God.